Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In this video, we are going to understand what is client-side rendering and how to display data from REST API using client-side rendering that we are going to understand. In last video, we have learned what is the difference between client and server component. We also created this client component. Remember that. So this client component, I'm going to modify for my requirement. These things I have explained how to change the name of this everything you know better so just for your reference uh, you, you need code so I'm changing the name of this so I say here old page remember that under a client so I am not using this because now I can't use this as a route name have been changes so I can't use now because page.tsx is required under the client component this is older code if you required you can check this code also inside this so i'm removing it and in a client i'm going to create a new page.tsx file you see so in this file i will implement the concept of fetching data from client side remember that this is the previous video coding so if you require how the client component work you can understand from this otherwise here i am creating a new one so i say ra fce and i want to fetch data here so if i want to fetch data that means i need to use hooks in a react and if i'm using a hook that means i need to convert this into client component so i say here use client because it's a client component now i create here const and here i say data and set data that i want to use here like this and remember that here i say use state and inside this i need to pass the object of this this one this type of object i want to pass here inside this empty object and it's showing error that we have to convert into client component so here i say client no problem at all i change the name of this like this client error is gone so this is an object remember that this object i want to use so if you see that here i have a api and this api is api github.com and user and this is a array and inside the array we have different different objects so i need to create here a array not an object so this array has been created so i will use this array to fetch information for fetching information we need to call use effect also so i say use effect like this i need to call this function because inside this function we, we can perform the data fetching and then after that we need to pass arrow function here so i say arrow function like this and i need to pass here that i want to execute it one time only so i'm using use effect like this two parameter we are passing so in use effect i need to use fetch function to fetching a data remember that so for doing that what i do i create one function inside this so i say fetch data fetch data this function i am creating here so i say const fetch data equal to remember this is the function which i am creating inside this for fetching a data because i want to make it as a async so i say async here async i am using here now here i say const data that i want to fetch from here and i say fetch function inside this fetch function i need to pass the library also so i make copy of this library and this library i paste here so this is the user information that i want to fetch and i need to put await also here like this so async is there await is here here data is coming then after that i need to use data so i say here user data like this or i can say yes user data and i create one more uh, object constant variable so i say data and this data i will have from user data dot json remember that and i need to put await here also because it will fetch data will wait and transfer data here and after that i need to pass this into the data so i say set data hook under this i am passing a data like this remember now this function is ready i have to call this function so i call it fetch fetch data like this i am calling it inside the user file you can write this code without a function also but you have to use then again fetch then dot then so multiple time you can use fetch with then close you can use in promise format also you can use in this format also so i'm using here async remember that this is the way to create a async function within a client component also so this fetch data is working now i have to display data so what i do here i remove this page and here i say here h1 and i say user data is user information is and here i need to display information after that in a new line 
so here i say json dot stringify so under this i use json dot stringify and here i pass the data because data has been come and this data is goes to this and i'm using to display this data in this format and to make it bold i can say class name and here i say font bold and i say here text double excel like this you see client component i am fetching a data and i'm trying to show you that how you can fetch data at client side this is called client side rendering because we are using client component to fetch data so that's why we called it client side rendering also i go this page i click on client data is taking a lot of time so data is coming after a long time so you see i'm calling this fetch data function this data is coming here and you are just able to fetch information from the api so if i click on server you see because server component is also calling client component so on that server also we have information otherwise i click on image i click on client now you see data is coming from the client side so this is the way to fetch data from the client side remember that so we are able to fetch data from the client side like that this is the way we have to use use effect and we can create async function within this and then we call it like this that's all in this video i think you learn how to use client side rendering and how to display data at client side by using fetch library how to create async await function also within a use effect everything you understand from this video if you like this video please do subscribe thank you for watching this video mm -hmm.